hello friends uh, in this tutorial i will show you how i uh, got these results uh, in one of my brand new sites mm, this is a brand new domain and fresh domain and uh, it's is around 15 to 20 days uh, probably i bought this domain in may 10th or 12th uh, may so in last month and then uh, now I got these results so I just followed few steps so I'll show you in minutes uh, what I show uh, follow I just follow semantic SEO so uh, we all know that uh, semantic SEO uh, help search engine to properly understand our topic subtopics and then entire content map so uh, we can see this it's semantically understand comprehensive cover as all of the topic and subtopics and then uh, its link the relevancy between topic and its subtopics and rest of the other topics and then uh, uh, future proofing future proofing means it's uh, help us to build EEAT what Google wants nowadays because uh, Google love uh, this type of content uh, that's our Mm. equally not cover any specific keywords uh, instead it covers a wide range of topic in the in this particular topic so uh, and then now I'll show you how we can create uh, this topical map using a single command uh, in a single uh, chat GPT prompt so I'll show you uh, this prompt I will use this prompt. In this particular prompt, I uh, I choose a keyword topic, a mountain biking. You can choose any topic what you like. So, uh, and then I'll uh, I'll give you this prompt in video description. So, don't worry. So just I just copy and then paste it in Chat GPT and then hit enter. So now it's fast it's create a um, primary sections and then create a table uh, which that's uh, link noun and linked topics like mountain bikes it's a links uh, topics it's hard tail full suspension fat bikes and its component protective gear like helmet gloves knee knee pads elbow pads so you can see, see this uh, this is and then semantic graph for mountain biking you can see this mountain bikes it's a relatively semantic graphics hardtail a full suspension and fat bikes and component uh, frame fork wheels tires brakes and then protective gears you can see the helmet gloves knee pads and so you can click continue generating to expand the our prompt so and then bike maintenance you can see cleaning lubrications suspension setup so and then trail uh, features you can rocks uh, routes so it's uh, cover entire topics and it's relevant subtopics as well so continue generating so and then it covers online communities skill cl clinics uh, and then coaching technique workshop and then it uh, in the, in the uh, step 3 it's comprehensive topical map so create this one so as you can see this it's a uh, it creates a great map which is un, uh, which is more uh, visually appealing because this one is our main topic and then we create uh, categories like this mountain bike types gear and equipment and trail reading skill and uh, techniques so and then we can expand the subcategories based on these so uh, let's uh, continue generating So the stone is mountain biking events and destinations. And then step four, it's uh, 
review and potential upgrade that means it review uh, generated uh, topic and subtopics and then if there is found an, any gap between generated topics and then it expand on the speed uh, it's found the gap and include these uh, missing topics as well so in here expand on specific mountain bike types provide uh, detailed information pros and cons so it guide us how we can ex expand our topic and subtopics more comprehensive way so and in the step 5 uh, it's application in research and content creation so you can uh, it guides some uh, it has guide some with an example like choosing the right mountain bike type for uh, your riding style and uh, so we just uh, we can follow them to achieve our results so and then it uh, suggests us to create internal linking to related uh, topic and subtopics uh, so that's why yeah, so uh, we can create a topical map for our topic so i hope this uh, will help you to um, create a topical map so and find and achieve and good results your, your keywords so that's it guide for this today's tutorial so you'll find these prompts in video descriptions i hope this help you thanks for watching